Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am the Poverty Princess. Today I am going to do some of my glam holiday ornaments using these little clear ornaments that I got from Dollar Tree. Uh, Mr. Oreo just got done eating some of his wet, wet, dry. Hey buddy. Oh, of course, he has to clean his mittens. <laughs> and Miss Feisty is actually making her way over to me. I was hoping she'd jump up on the radiator so you guys would get to see both of them. She might. Anywho, so I'm going to be doing a total of six ornaments, two of each. They're going to be different colors, and I'm going to decorate each set a little bit different. Two are going to be gifts for my two besties. So the first ones I want to do is using the white acrylic paint that I got in Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to shake this up a little bit because I have some of my craft stuff so it doesn't clog my table out on my veranda. It gets very cold out there. Um, this has been inside for a little bit, but just to be on the safe side, going to definitely give it a good shake just so it isn't like thick and bleh, sort of. <laughs> I, you guys know what I mean. So I'm going to give it a good shake. Um, I'm also going to be recycling one of these dreaded balmay cartons. I realized I could use them as a drawing trays, so that's what I'm going to do. And I'll actually be, uh, for the one set of ornaments, mixing white with pink. So I'm going to be using one to actually mix my uh, paints in. But the ornaments themselves can actually sit in here, which is good. So I'll be recycling it, and I'm just going to keep that and reuse it. All right, so I'm going to remove remove my ornaments from, from the cardboard. Um, while I'm doing this, I also wanted to give a big shout out to Teresa Williams. She was the lovely lady who purchased that beautiful card for me from Amazon. Well, she had also sent me several boxes, but it was late at night when I went through them, so that's why I didn't do a video with them. Um, a lot of canned goods, pantry items, of which I thanked her for so much. And she also included as a gift this beautiful tree of light necklace and I just wanted to show it to you guys because it is amazing so I'm carefully removing oh my little pronged hooks I know it's funny guys, I did find my E6000, I knew I bought it, couldn't remember where in the heck I put it, and here it was in my pantry, um, with a cute little organizer that I actually bought from Dollar General. I'm going to show you guys in the video, because everything costs a dollar, and I'm going to actually start using it probably into the month for January, that'll be in a different video though. Um, it was in there with that stuff, and I thought, oh my goodness, I knew I, I knew I bought it. God love them senile moments. So, you definitely, for this project, guys, want to make sure that you have... Oh, my nail polish needs to be taken off anyway, so I'm not really worried. Definitely want to make sure you have um, newspaper down, and when you go to use glitter, Make sure you have a piece of wax paper down to catch any excess glitter and that way you can put most of it back into the container and it shouldn't be an issue with that. I want to see. Oh, okay. All right. It was all just sitting there on top. I thought maybe there was another little off. Uh, another little um, foil piece, but nope, it's good to go. All right, so for these two, I am going to go with white, 
and once I pour some of the white paint in I'm also going to add some of this beautiful pearl iridescent glitter this is from Dollar General I'll be using this on the outside as well but I definitely want to put a little bit inside too so I'm going to give like four squeezes of the paint in and just push it around a little bit I'm not really sure how much I'm going to need so I add a little bit more and just continue to swish the paint around so just to show you guys I am adding a little bit of this beautiful iridescent pearl glitter I doubt it's going to well no yeah it is actually I can see it a little bit I really wanted to see how it would look with the white paint and I'm starting to see some of it actually through through the paint so you won't be able to see it with camera but you could definitely see it um, when you're holding it and looking at it however I am going to do as I said a coat on the outside let me see when this is dry if I can still see it if not then I won't do it with the other ornaments so this is a little playing by ear here guys because I've never never did this before and I'm going to leave these sit in the egg tray to dry now with the red ornaments I basically just uh, scored it in the red paint and to really make sure that it was covered good inside that there was no um, spots where there was no paint I just put my finger over the opening and shook it around like so did that for maybe like a minute or two to make sure um, I can't really say how much of the paint I'm actually using I'm not measuring it I'm just giving you know a few squirts giving it a good shake shaking it around and when there doesn't appear to be any more like moving I'll put a few more squirts in I would say maybe at the most five tablespoons total um, that I actually have used so far in each of these ornaments so now these are in the tray to dry as well and the last two I'm going to do I'm going to mix a teeny little bit of pink in with the white I want to go for a very very light like a blush pink um, for this particular set of ornaments Another tip if you're working with glitter and ornaments and also wet paint um, there was a little bit of paint uh, just a teeny little bit that was dripping out of the ornament when I had it upside down you can take a block of floral foam and uh, toothpicks or wooden skewers from Dollar Tree you could break one in half put it inside the ornament and stick it into the floral foam so whatever little bit of paint may be wet inside will actually come out and the glitter on the outside of the ornament can dry then without smudging or spilling 
Now I'm going to work on my red ornament. I believe what I'm going to do with this is use some um, gold glitter and I'm probably going to just do a strip of Mod Podge going around and shaking on gold glitter with that and I will probably attach some gemstones on top. I have some odds and ends left from other DIYs so I'm going to be able to use them up with these ornaments. So yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do with this. So I'm essentially patting on the ornament a strip of Mod Podge going around the width of the ornament and I'm going to shake on the glitter Now, as I said, I like to use wax paper because it catches glitter fantastic. And um, I'm able to pour the excess right back into the bottle so there's no waste of my glitter. For my very pretty pale pink ornaments, I did a little coat of silver glitter on top. I'm laying that dry. And then I'm going to glue on my glue on pearl uh, stones. And I'm going to use up some odds and ends um, adhesive gemstones I have left from other DIYs from Dollar General. I love these. These are so pretty and you can use these in so many DIYs. And I highly recommend guys, if you have a Dollar General by you, to definitely always have a pack or two of each of these on hand because they just look so pretty will add instant glam to anything that you attach them to so I'm waiting for these to dry and then I'll proceed to decorate them my red ornaments I decided to do the top of them more gold gold crusted and leave the bottom red. I think these look elegant just the way, just the way they are, just like that. Very, very pretty and very festive for the holidays, definitely. Really pretty. And these, oh my gosh, absolutely elegant. They're like a snowball. Really, really pretty. I added some pearls and the adhesive rhinestones to both of my pink ornaments. And final step, I am going to use E6000 and reattach the lids to the top of the ornaments. So here they are, finished and dried. That is gorgeously elegant, I swear. I love that. That is so pretty. The white ones are very, very glittery. Almost remind me of a snowball. <laughs> They really do. And these ones are so super cute. Very like feminine. With the glitter on top. And the pearls and rhinestones. Well guys, there you have my three glam DIY ornaments. You can come up with your own ideas for how you would like to do yours. Um, if you want to put stickers on yours or, you know, whatever you feel like adding to yours. 
sky's the limit. I just showed you some of my ideas and what I did. Well guys, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. As always, thank you so, so much for watching and helping my channel grow. I will see you real soon. Good night.